hello everyone you're welcome to my channel this is Ajilan here and today I'm going to show you how to draft out a pattern for palazzo pants or trouser for a little girl so first thing to do is to measure out the length of the trouser fold. so for this pattern the length of the trouser is 33 So for this one, I'm going to use elastic on the waist. So I'll remove two inches for the elastic. So 33 minus two will have 31 plus one and a half inch for seam allowance. So that will be 30. We we'll use 33 inches. So the next thing to do is to get the hip measurement. So for this one to get the hip measurement, the shoulder measurement from shoulder to the hip measurement is 18 and the half length is 12. So what you do is to minus 12 from 18. So we have 6. So we'll mark out 6. This is the hip line. Which is 6 here. Connect it to a straight line. So to get to get the hip, the hip for this measurement, the hip is 32. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. So we'll remove 8. We'll mark out 8 inches all through. Here. So we'll connect it to a straight line. So this is it. To get our crotch line or crotch measurement, we'll divide the hip, the hip measurements into four. So, so when we divide the hip measurement into four, we'll get eight. So we'll mark out eight here. This will be the cross line. Mark out eight. Connect it to a straight line as well. So the next thing to do is to measure out from waist to knee measurements is 17, which is here. This is 17. So this is the full length which is 33 okay guys the next thing to do now is to measure your thigh measurements for this um for this pattern the thigh measurement is 20 so we we'll divide 20 into two we we'll have 10. remember this is a palazzo pant or trouser for a little girl so i want it to be free So now we have 10 after dividing the 20 by 2. So I'll mark out the 10 on this cross line. This is 10. Here. This is 10. So connect it straight. This 
then I'll add one inch one inch seam allowance I prefer to have excess than to have shortages so after adding it the next thing to do is connect it to the hip line which is here so you can use your hand or look for something to trace it now you connect it like this this is it you connect it so the next thing to do now is to this is the the knee line so we are going to check the circumference of um of the knee or your thigh the knee area we check the circumference then divide it by two we'll add it here we'll measure it here before we connect it let me just do it and show you guys so guys this is the knee um measure the knee line we'll leave it like this because we want it to be free and this part also we're going to leave it like this so for this area we'll come in by half inch here so we'll connect this to this point you can also use your hand to press it down like this so guys this is it so for this part i'll come in by quarter inch all the way that will come in by quarter inch here here and this point here so this is quarter so guys i come i came in by half sorry quarter inch here so i'll connect it to this point to the hip line then connect it like this. So here I'll connect it to this point. So guys, I'll check the midpoint, I'll check what I have here and I'll remove the midpoint. Here I have nine and a half, so the midpoint is four and quarter, which is here. Now come in by half, quarter inch. I'll come in by quarter inch here. So you can just trace it like this. So guys that is it we'll just cut it out this is just the pattern it's just a free pant trouser for a little girl so this is how you cut it out this trouser we don't need that because i'll be using elastic on the waist so this is how to cut the front piece let me just stress it out and i will show you guys guys how to cut the back part of the pant trouser Guys, this is how it looks. 
points how to cut the front pattern so i'm going to use this to show you guys how to cut out the back pattern so guys for the back pattern all you have to do is to place the front pattern on on a plain paper like this then but for this side we'll add we'll add one inch upwards like this come up by one inch connect it to a straight one so the next thing to do is just to trace out the measurement on this new one we'll trace it out so after tracing it out you remove the yeah. so after tracing it out you remove the front pattern so this is it so we'll We'll connect all the lines so that we'll know where the hip line, the crotch line, and all of that where they are. So the lines here, the knee line, and the length. So the next thing to do here, I'll I'll mark out one inch here. Because the back pattern is always bigger than the front pattern. So mark out one inch here. And just connect it to a straight line. So this is it. So here I will mark out one inch here as well. This is the crotch line, inclusive the seam allowance. So this is one inch here. I'll connect it. So I'll join it to this point here. is it for this so all this side i'll just mark out one inch all down and i'll connect it so, one inch, one inch. so guys as you can see i've added one inch all through so we'll connect it So, guys, as you, as you can see, I folded this part so that when you're closing your down part, it will not be a problem to you. So, here, I'll connect it like this. I'm trying to use this. So guys this is it so here i'll still check what i have here the same nine and half that is four and quarter now coming by quarter inch same way i did the front part and give it a slight curve Sorry guys, I'm not good at drawing. So after that, it's just to cut it out. 
as you can see is a very simple thing to do it's not difficult remember the measurement i've added the same allowance already and you can use this to make a pants a palazzo trouser or pant for a girl of eight years old it will be very perfect So guys, as you can see, this is the front pattern. Always indicate so that you don't forget. This is the front pattern. Why this is the back pattern? So guys, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use this to make an Ankara palazzo trouser or pants for a little girl. So this is just the pattern. So guys, that is it for today. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So guys, I'll see you on the next one.